I'm in my kitchen uh, dining room and I'm gonna make a nice salad for lunch so I thought I would do another recipe for you um, because it's been a long time since I've done one of these really because of time a lot of people have kind of been asking can you do some more recipes do some more recipes but I think I said on the last one there's only a certain amount of things I eat and I get to, to points where I'm like that's all I'm eating so I'm eating you know the seven or eight or nine things that I've already shown you guys um, and I, I don't obviously not going to eat something new every week or couple of times a week or whatever so I've really been sticking to everything that you've already seen the re recipes for but this chicken salad is something that I used to have a lot more and I was just thinking to myself I really should have it a lot more because I don't eat vegetables I'm really fussy with my vegetables and very rarely eat vegetables which I know is terrible because you're supposed to have your five a day and it's not supposed to include much fruit I do like fruit um, but I do love salad so um, yeah so if you'd like to see how to make a nice chicken salad, then come with me. Okay, so first I want my lettuce, which this is left over from a salad I made at the weekend. So I'm just gonna take off the outer leaves and then with a knife, cut off just that, um, oh goodness, where am I? There, that end kind of yucky looking bit. Well, maybe other people don't look, think it looks yucky, but I'm really fussy with everything food-wise. <laughs> and then I think this will be too much, but I'm just gonna cut some bits off yeah, it's probably gonna to be too much, but that's okay because I've got another lettuce for the rest of the week. So I'll just throw the rest of that um, because it's too old to use again tomorrow. So I'm just now chopping into this lettuce um, to make it into small bits. And then I'll chuck it into my huge bowl here. <laughs> I've just got, this is really just a mixing bowl. Actually, maybe it is a salad bowl, I don't know, but. I'm just gonna rip some of those bigger pieces into small pieces. I have washed my hands, by the way. And then start on the other veg. So I'm putting this, I'm gonna use the rest of my green pepper that I had in my salad at the weekend as well. This, no, not the weekend, this was Friday, this was for actually. So the idea is that everything in this salad is tiny. So it does make it a bit of a pain in the bum cutting everything, but I think it's worth it because I, I just think that you get the tastes of everything in it, you know, and it's just a bit more, I don't know, I've always liked things cut up really tiny, whereas Kev, like if we're doing a something that's got onions in it, he'd do it in big chunks, whereas I'd, I'd always do it in tiny little bits. Um, same with like mushrooms or, you know, whatever it is, peppers, when we put peppers in a stir fry, Kev will do it in big strips, whereas I would do it in, not quite as tiny as this, but I'd certainly do it in smaller chunks than he would. That's quite a lot of pepper actually, so I don't know whether I'll add in that red pepper, I don't think I will, so I'm just gonna pop that in. Yeah, there's quite a lot of pepper there. Actually I will, just for a little bit of color. I've got a tiny little bit of that red pepper left. And like I said, this is all kind of me using stuff up because it was from Friday. I made a lamb, what was it called? Lamb, spicy lamb koftas, and I made it with a big salad. Um, now you could add tomatoes in this if you wanted. I'm just adding that little bit of red pepper for a bit of color. Um, but I don't like tomatoes personally. Kev loves them, but they're not for me. Okay, some baby corn. Again, I need to use this up. This is not something I use very much of. So I just cut down the middle and then chop bits off. Kev's not the biggest fan of this actually, but I love corn in all kinds of forms. And I've bought all these ingredients pretty much over again to make salads as the week goes on. Although I haven't bought corn because I've got a packet of corn in the cupboard and you could use that easily as well. I'm gonna have two of those. And this next one I'm just gonna cut thinly. Don't need to really cut it lengthways. Throw that in. See what that's looking like. That's looking lovely. And then a little bit of carrot. Again, not too much, because I don't want to have too much crunch. Because salads take a long time to eat, don't they? I know I'm terrible at chopping my carrots. I should use a potato peeler, a vegetable peeler, because I take so much skin off, it's such a waste. Okay, because I want this small, I'm just gonna cut it again down the middle. Okay, I've said there was too much carrot in the salad I made on Friday, which is fair enough, because again, he's not carrot's biggest fan. I really wish I liked tomato though, because it's such a healthy, addition like when we have cheese on toast which is one of the things we have sometimes like a rush dinner you know we have cheese on toast we have beans on toast and when we have cheese on toast I have marmite on it 
and Kev has tomato on top of his cheese on toast and I always think that looks really healthy and tasty but I just I keep on trying it and going no nope, I just don't like it I like the flavor of tomato I just don't like raw tomatoes okay so for the dressing I'm just gonna weigh out um, I'm probably 10 grams maximum of sesame oil but maybe less yeah maybe less eight grams so that's me got eight grams of sesame oil and that will make it about 80 calories and then I'm going to cut this lemon in half and use half a lemon and just squeeze it in that sesame oil I probably don't need a whole half lemon but just loosely squeeze them and then I just swish that around and that goes on top of that salad which looks like that now so I'm just going to sprinkle that over and then with my hands just smush it all together smush it oh it smells lovely sesame oil just smells so gorgeous and that's what it looks like okay then i just need to add my chicken i'm using the marks and spencers just add and this one is soy lemongrass and chili chicken so i'm just going to cut up probably most of this packet let's see how many calories there's 96 calories in half a packet so the whole packet will be 200 Plus we've used, like I said, about 80 calories in oil and the vegetables will be nothing. So this is going to be about 300 calories because, like I said, I'll use maybe about two thirds of this pack. And I'm just going to chop the chicken in. I, I like to chop it because if there's any yucky bits, I take it out. <laughs> Which again, like I said, I am that fussy with food. You could just throw it in. You don't need to chop this in. I just like to see what I'm eating. <laughs> Dave said when he met me, he couldn't believe how much I pushed my food around my plate and he wondered if I was ever actually going to eat it okay so that's about two thirds of that and I should just wrap that up to go in the fridge so you get three of these for six pounds so what I did was I got I got three but I got one in a normal plain chicken flavor I can use that for Watson snacks and then this one is a Thai one and two of these will last me for three salads okay so I'm just going to simply stir it around and then that is my salad ready for eating okay guys that's the chicken salad done and as you probably just saw this is what it looks like and yeah it works out like I said about 300 calories it's one of those lunches I'm actually going to leave it in this bowl and I don't know if I even managed to eat that whole thing but you can what I sometimes do if I'm having this at the weekend is I'll sprinkle a little bit of parmesan cheese on it as well just to give it that extra kind of kick um, or you can put pine nuts in it to make it a little bit more kind of um, proteiny but I think because of the chicken there's no carbs in there specifically it's all veg I should be fine um, what was I going to say oh it's one of those dinners that it's one of those lunches that just takes ages to eat you know and I think that's good because you end up fuller because they say you know it takes your stomach 20 minutes from when you start eating to actually recognize the food in your tummy so I always feel full after eating a salad which is great um the other thing I was going to say is you could use this as a side salad by just I don't know why I keep showing it to you by just missing out that chicken and that would be a really really lovely side salad to just a piece of salmon or something like that um and I will probably have because I what I was I've got three salads, three salads out of that chicken, and then I've got two pieces of salmon. Mind you, that's five days and it's Monday, so I should be all right, actually. I was going to say I'll probably use it as a side salad one night, but um, anyway, that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed it. If I do do anything different for dinner, um, I will come and show you. I know this week, like I said, I've got that. I'll have salmon with that side salad, and I've also now been having sea bass fillets. You can get frozen sea bass in Asda and they're really really lovely they're just in some plastic you throw it in the oven and they're beautiful so that's pretty much what I'll be having for the next little while so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon